hi everyone and um, welcome to another video so i thought let's get in the christmas mood so we're going to do a nice little christmas set and this red's gorgeous that was a uh, rock and robin i think wasn't it from nail chemi so i'm going to do two nails in this and two coats on each but i will obviously i'm not going to show you all of them so just going into the other one now and please excuse my ropey voice. I, I've had a little bit of a sore throat, but it, it seems to be getting a bit better now. So ho hopefully um, it won't, won't annoy you too much. Um, so I'm going to do a nail in the salt stone as well, because I think I ended up doing three red nails. So I'll just get them painted and then we can start going in with the designs then. And I'm going to use um, the gorgeous little gonks from uh, Nail Sugar. Uh, Karen's just launched the Christmas shop and oh my goodness, the stuff's absolutely beautiful. And the little Christmas gonks, honestly, they're so cute because we're also doing decals now. And there will be a discount code, what well, I'll leave in the description box. But how cute are these? So yeah, I've gone for the little girl gonk and there she is. So I just try and cut it as close to the edge as I can. And I'm old school, so I'm still throwing it in a little tub of water. And there she is, all on the nail, easy peasy. I did actually record myself putting it on the nail, but it was so out of shot, it wasn't worth leaving him. But uh, there's lots of videos on applying the uh, decals. So I'm going over with um, some no white top because I'm also going to add a little design and we just want some snow, you know, looks like there's some little icicles falling down. And I'm just using the white uh, artisan gel paint for this one. And the, obviously the gel paint's a bit thicker, so it just gives it a little bit more of a 3D effect. But I will be sprinkling this in the uh, brand new uh, pixels. And I, honestly, I've near finished my pot already. I need to order some more because they're just abso absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I, I love anything like, you know, sparkly and these, they, re they really do. And again, with pixels, the um it's just it's just like quite um it's quite a fine glitter but it's quite hollow so it's um it's it's good you know for all these snowy scenes and things like that so yeah and whatever color you put it over it you know it will take on the color so yeah i really love pixels so here we go there they are how gorgeous are they oh i just love it <laughs> so so yeah, de definitely getting um, another order of these and I hope they're still in stock, I'll have to check. So there to go out a shot again, but <laughs> I'm just giving it a good dusting off and that looks so pretty. And has anyone noticed my gloves there? I'm like a two year old, honestly. Whenever I'm doing, I always manage to either paint my glove as well or stick my finger in the paint. So um, I've actually just changed them <laughs> and my nail keeps popping through as well because I'm wearing quite long ones at the minute. Yeah, and we don't, we don't, we don't like uh, mucky gloves. So, right. Now I'm just going over this because I want the gong to stand out a little bit more. So I'm going in with some of the, um, the red gel polish and I just give that a couple of coats and yeah, it's just making it pop. And then I'm actually gonna go over the whole gong with some um, clear hard gel. And apart, apart from it looking a little bit more 3D, um, that gong isn't going anywhere. What <laughs> once the hard gel's on it, uh, you, you're not you're not gonna lose that decal at all. So I've just um, emphasised his nose, hair nose, sorry, a little bit. And now I'm just going to go in with the hard gel. So I've just got an old detailer brush that I'm using because, I mean, obviously a gel brush is going to be, too, you know, far too big for, for the little gong. Um, so it's the same principle and I'm really just gently touching it. I don't want to lose contact with the gel, but at the same time, I don't want to overload it because, yeah, it'll just... Um, you know go off the edges of it i am trying to keep it you know within there so that that was that finished i think so i'm moving on to the next design now and we're going to do a nice um tartan design 
Um, at Tartan, it just, yeah, always reminds me of Christmas. I, I absolutely love the Tartan design. So in there, I've just got black gel paint, but I have mixed it with a little bit of the No White top coat. You can mix it with any top coat, really. I just don't want that full intensity. And then on this side, we're just going to do, as you can see, a lot thinner line. And don't, don't worry if you don't get the line in one go. You know, you can ju just, um, just go over it. Now we're going to take it across the nail. Um, now, I, I just take it across and then I go back and on those edges, I'll just fill those in. And I've started the white one. You, you can put these really, you know, wherever you want. I mean, just Google some images. There's absolutely tons of tartan images. And this is the silver artisan gel paint. And it, it, it goes on really lovely. A bit thicker than the others. But once you get the hang of it, then it's not too bad. But you could use a silver, you know, a sort of glittery silver gel polish or you know mix some um fine silver glitter with top coat so yeah you know what whatever works best for you i, I do like the gel paint but yeah it, as i said it is um it is a little bit thicker so but you know the end result's nice so i'm just gonna add the rest of these silver lines now and I am curing in, in between, I forgot to mention that. You only need to flash cure because it's going in and out the lamp. By the time you're finished, you know, it's going to have a full cure anyway. Um, so, yeah, once I'm happy with them, I'm just going to go in with the top coat. And because we're adding quite a lot of layers, I'll do two top coats. I'll buff it right down and then I'll put a another fine layer of top coat then we're going to start our design we just don't want the nail you know ending up too thick so as you can see i've just placed a few dots and we're just going to do a nice snowflake and we're just going to pull them through gently then i've added another four dots there and just using the very tip of my brush and it just gives that really nice little effect then I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure so we'll get on to the, the next nail. So this is just a full red nail. Now you can either wipe the sticky residue off or just put a nice thin layer of top on because uh, if we make any errors we can just wipe it off so we don't want this on a tacky surface. And again I've gone in, use your centre dot then to, to either side diagonal to either side horizontal and then that little space just fill in I, I find this is the easiest way of anyone struggling to do snowflakes honestly this is so easy but as you're pulling it there just remember just use the tip of that brush if the brush is very dry when you get into these four corner ones just give it the slightest little dip back in your gel paint because by then the center of that you know uh, snowflake it'll be pulled through so you won't have much to pull and then we're just going to glitter it up and we'll pop that in the lamp and I, I give it a full cure sometimes I'll give it a double cure just to make sure and then just you know brush that glitter off and now I'm just going to start another one in the opposite corner and we've got the five dots going down and putting two across there but because i'm having it slightly off center um i've put the two on but it's the very end one so it just gives a nice effect i think when it's slightly coming off the nail and then again just go in tip of the brush pull it through again over to the other side and I love that little flick on the end. I think that's what really gives it, you know, the nice little shape. And there we go. You can pull it where it's got that little bit of a kink in it. So, yeah, play about with them, honestly. It's so easy. And again, we're going to go in with the pixels and glitter it up again. My absolute favourite bit. 
but if you just want it um a bit 3d you can use clear acrylic or you know the nice just left plain so you can you know vary your design where you put them you can make them as big as you want or as small as you want and now i'm just going to add some little random dots looking like you know just little bits of snow falling And I did want to mention when I'm doing these designs, obviously, this, this gel paint, it's tack free. So I've already top coated the nail. That's why it's nice and shiny. I've done that on um, all of them. So you can just, you know, put your design on and you're ready to go. And there we are with the finished set. Our cute little uh, gonk Christmas nail. <laughs> so, yeah. And, you know, you could just use one of those as an accent nail. I've just been showing you a you know a couple of little ideas of um what what to do for your christmas designs i really hope you've enjoyed the video um <coughs> excuse me I, I love doing christmas nails they're my absolute fave and wedding nails obviously but you know um so yeah if you've enjoyed it please leave me a like a comment if you're not already please subscribe and you will take care and i shall see you in the next video bye